What's going on guys? It's Josh here and it's been a long, long time since I've actually sat down and recorded a video with all of you and just talk about music and what's going on. Usually when I do upload it's a guitar cover or an original song, but this is going to be a discussion video, um, a hopes to the future video as well as future videos that I would like to create and make and hopefully all of my subscribers tag along with me and we gain some new subscribers along the way because I want to be a very informative music channel. So for those of you that don't know, um, I guess if you actually know me in real life you would probably know this by now, but uh, I have been working on recording my very own EP for about the last year and I actually released the first single for it last month it's called Don't Back Down and it's one of the very first songs I, I've ever written and uh, all these songs are original music there's going to be five in total on my EP which I want to have out in the next month or two now, I know a lot of you will probably be like, well, if you're a musician, how come you don't know the exact date of when your EP is going to come out? Well, that is because I am doing this 100% by myself. Um, all the recording, all the instruments, all the vocals and backup vocals, um, that's what I've been working on for the last year is just perfecting these five songs, editing them, mastering them. Uh, recording it on my little MacBook Pro and a handful of equipment that I got off of Amazon, um, you know, as I could afford it. So that's what I've been working on. And what I want to do in the future with this channel is actually talk about the process, talk about I'm getting all these songs copyrighted, uh, some one of which is already completed, others in the future. And I want to be able to talk about that and help musicians out there figure it all out by themselves and be able to put out singles or full albums or EPs or whatever um, all by themselves and yeah so that's kind of where we're at it's been a huge learning experience it's been a lot of ups and downs just trying to figure out how to do some of this stuff um, but you know I'm 24 going on 25 and you know, in the next few months, toward or you know, by the end of the year for sure, I can say the CP I did completely on my own. Even the album artwork, I'm not a designer, uh, but I've just been using editing programs, drawing out uh, rough ideas for album covers, single covers, um, some even my original photographies on there. If you look at uh, if you go check out my song, Don't Back Down, I put it up free on YouTube, but it's also on iTunes, Spotify. That's another thing, too, I want to get into in a minute. Um, Don't Back Down is actually me. It's a picture of my hand playing the guitar, uh, and I edited it and made it black and white. And it's not, like, super amazing artwork or professional photography, but it's just something I did all by myself and recorded the song and put it out there. So... You know, it's something to definitely be proud of and that sort of thing. So, but yeah, so the album, the EP, when it does come out, along with, I want to have like a second single come out in the next week or two. And when it does, it'll be up on here and I'll definitely share it on all my social media. So if you guys are interested in hearing it, there'll be multiple ways to do so. But when I put Don't Back Down out um, for the public, I actually did a lot of research on how can I put this on Spotify and iTunes and everything? For a lot of that stuff, you actually need to be associated with a record label. And, you know, it's hard to get that stuff out there. But I signed up to use DistroKid. And this is in no way a promotion or ad or anything. Um, I'm actually still getting used to it. And once I have been using it for the next few months, I want to make a whole video talking about that but with DistroKid basically it's twenty dollars a year and they will take your music for you and put it out on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Amazon Music, Google Play and that way you can earn money from it. So with DistroKid and with 
getting it on iTunes and Amazon, Spotify, all of that. Um, there's actually a two to three month delay as to when you'll start seeing how much people are buying your song, how much money you're making. Not that money matters. I'm not doing this for money whatsoever. Um, but it'll just be interesting to see, okay, I put my own original song out there, kind of promoted it as best I could just through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I will be very interested in seeing the numbers. Uh, with Spotify right now, I can see listeners, and there's actually some from all over the place. There's a few in Italy, which I don't know anybody in Italy, but it's cool that they listen to it. Um, a few people in LA, even Alaska. So, like, just the stats and the breakdown of who is hearing my song is really neat, and it uh, makes me want to create more, put more out there, and I will definitely be doing so. I actually have a backlog of just original music and covers that I haven't released to the public, and so I might as well do that now, but I don't want to just release everything at once. I'm just, I'm just going to slowly, you know, send out the songs and put them available to download. Uh, stream, listen to for free on here. And that's the other thing. Like I just said it a little, a few minutes ago. I'm not doing any of this really for the money. I've just always liked music and I've wanted to create something on my own and by myself. And they're all original music with lyrics and just being a a able to literally sit down record guitars and basses in my little bitty apartment and do some vocals uh, has been fun yet challenging and I really don't care if I make my money back, if I break even, if I make a lot of more money, none of that really matters. I just want to be able to say, hey, I recorded this album, check it out, and hopefully I can keep making more uh, in the future and hopefully just get better at it and become a better musician, a better performer and hopefully listeners relate to it too and are able to listen to my songs and feel something and also just have fun listening and enjoying them. So basically I'm just making this video to let you guys know what I've been up to. This channel's quite honestly died uh, but I really want to bring it back and I've said that in previous videos before but now I actually kind of know where I want to take this channel and I want to be able to sit down as these things happen to me as I sell songs on iTunes as I get more followers on Spotify hopefully I do but as I learn these things I want to be able to turn around and share that to you guys because I'm sure there's a lot of people in the same boat just trying to figure out how can I get people to listen? How can I do this? I'm on a budget. I need, you know, how can I do this? Parts of it, at least, by myself. Now, of course, if you have access to high-end recording equipment or if you're friends with people in that type of industry, definitely reach out to them and be able to network with them. I mean, the more resources to you, the better. And I did have some access to a few of those things, um, so I shouldn't say it was 100% by myself. I'd say maybe 90, 85% by myself. Uh, but most of it was just the learning how to edit, how to properly mix, master. All that comes just by doing it and sitting down. And the cool thing about mastering and mixing and editing songs is that it's a lot of personal preference and it's a lot of uh, creative freedom. So that's where you might mix a song and someone else might not like it or they might love it or I might think I mix something perfectly and a few people hate it or maybe a few others love it. So that's the very interesting thing and fun thing about it all. But, you know, there are definitely some golden rules and things you have to follow and just learn just by doing so that's where we're at that's where this channel is at right now I just want to be able to have my EP out in the next month or two like I said all the songs as of yesterday are like finally all mixed and recorded to 
the best of my ability and to how I think they sound the best. So now it's just going to be a matter of actually printing out the CDs and the, the cases and then selling them. But if you guys want to check out my music, there will be a lot of ways down below, but I'll tell you right here as well. Um, the first of all being follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post screenshots and dates of when the songs are going to be coming out. But the third, second best option is to subscribe to this channel. Um, I put all of the songs up for free as they come out on here because, again, I don't really care about the money. It's just I want people to listen and hear it and give me feedback and hopefully enjoy it. Um, there's already been a few comments saying it sucks, but, you know, I... I take that for what it is. I know I've worked on these songs for a year to a year and a half each, so I know they don't just flat suck. I wouldn't put them out if they did. Uh, they're stuff and they're, they're songs that I'm very proud of, so that's why I want to share them with you. It's just, you know, taking some time to do so, but yeah, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to put up the whole, all the songs and the album up for free on here as well. Um, YouTube is a great way. I've gotten some exposure already. Some videos have a couple thousand views and, you know, that's exciting. It's not huge, but it's a thousand or two thousand people that I normally wouldn't have been able to advertise and share my music with. So there's that. Um, besides that, feel free to check it out on iTunes. Like I said, it's on Spotify, Google Music, it's on Amazon, um, not Amazon Music, that's something I'm still working on, but the song Don't Back Down and everything in the future will be available on the actual like Amazon app in the website to download that way as an MP3, so that's pretty neat. And yeah, it's very exciting. It's just been a lot of hard work and like I said, ups and downs of just learning how to do this all and navigate my way towards it and what's a scam and what's not. Um, a few people, I've read a few uh, negative comments about DistroKid and how they distribute your music and how they they claim that it's like free. Um, you get 100% of the money back, but people have been gypped on royalties. I cannot say that happened to me. I can't say if those are true or false. Um, like I said, it takes a, a few months for iTunes and Spotify and Apple and all that, all those companies to get back to you on exactly how much you're making from selling your music. So I haven't seen those detailed reports yet. But when I do, and once I've actually used DistroKid and used a lot of their different services that they have, I will either if it's all bad or negative, I'll cancel it and I'll tell you guys on YouTube. Um, or if it's going great, I will turn around and tell you guys if you're a if you're a ind independent artist to definitely try DistroKid. But as for right now, I'm testing it out for myself. I can say so far, I've been using it literally for exactly one month now. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, they're quicker uh they have like estimated dates as to when your songs will be out and when certain things will be available to you and th the turnaround time has always been way less than what they've said i've actually emailed them twice for some technical issues i've had with my account and they answered it and fixed it like both both issues like that and they said there's like a 48 hour turnaround to get a response and to get it fixed but it I got it done that same day so like I said this isn't a promotion or anything I'm just telling you some of my experiences so far and yeah this video has kind of been all over the place but I haven't sat down and done an update video in so long and I hope you guys hopefully find this entertaining and helpful and in the future stay tuned for more uh properly edited and recorded videos but i want to do how to's and just talk about the process of making an ep and making an album and just kind of the things that i've gone through and have experienced and you know i just want to be able to help out other people out there so yeah, like I said, that's what's been going on in my life and the state of the channel. So I hope you guys stay tuned and follow me for 
future videos and future songs and covers, all of those fun things. I also want to start up guitar lesson videos again too. Those are really fun. I just I've just been super busy with the whole album process, but feel free to check out my website as well down below. That's another great way to contact me and to listen to all my music for free. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Comment down below what you thought and what have you been up to. And if you're an independent artist or small level musician, let me know what you're working on and what are your goals. I'd love to read those. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Have a good one.